Hey guys, Finlex here, back with a new mini rambling review. This is Darkwood. So you can kind of see a little bit of it right here. I'll zoom it in in a second. But first things first, uh, released in 2017, it is $15. Uh, so it has 15,000 very positive reviews. It's 94% positive. And this is where my issues with this game begin because I'm going to say that I don't recommend this game. I find it interesting that there's so many positive re reviews when if you were to look at the achievements, only 8% of people have completed Chapter 2. Now, this game has been in early access for a while. It's, it's fully released now, but it was one of those Markiplier games that he was, you know, playing and screaming at, and so presumably that's where I think a lot of the, the stuff comes from. But um, the game is basically a, well, it describes itself as survival horror uh, in the vein of Resident Evil and Silent Hill. And again, I have issues with that because those are two very different games. Those are two very different design philosophies. Um, the... Resident Evil is more of a survival action game with horror elements, whereas Silent Hill is a psychological horror game. Where are you going? Psychological horror game with survival and action elements. So, so very different, I would say. Uh, and this game is... I Man, I don't know how to describe it. It's not... It starts off really strong. The The prologue is fantastic. And then you get to the main game, and I'm just kind of like, eh. Because the problem is it tries to be really creepy. It, it It's a game with contradictions. And right off the bat, they basically say, uh, you know, this game is very difficult, and we're not going to hold your hand. And whenever devs say that, they're full of crap. Let's just put it that way. They, you know, immediately that means the game has bad design. Uh, and while I do have a certain amount of respect for, you know, developers that make the game they want to make and are uh, uncompromising in their vision, for me, this has enough contradictions in the design philosophy that I that I just don't think it's great. Uh, so it starts off, and it's, like I said, survival horror. Uh, there's everything in the world is placed already, so stuff doesn't spawn. The resources that are there are there. Um, and uh, and so there's there's limited resources, and... It's, it tries to make it so that you, it makes the atmosphere very tense and your enemies hit really hard and do a lot of damage and your weapons break. And so uh, it's, it's, it's sort of encouraging this picking and choosing and, you know, do I, do I fight? Do I not fight? Do I hide? You know, what do I do? And you know, kind of maybe sneak around and and uh, be very careful and all that stuff, except there's a timer. Not only is there a day and night cycle, uh, I mean, that's, that's really it. It's like, there's a day and night cycle. Is this going to go or is it going to stop? Because it's, okay, well, whatever. Um, yeah, there's, there's day and night cycle. So it, it times everything. So it's, it's like, go really slow, be careful, because things are really dangerous, hits really hard, but also go really fast, because you're running out of time. And I'll admit, I never even got to the... Was there... It showed the map, right? I never even got to the second area. At one point, it showed the map with, like, the three zones. I got to the second zone, and uh, 
And that's about, I got to the village, actually, if you've played the game. That's where I stopped. And I because I was just like, it's very trial and error. And I'm just like, yeah, we don't want to show that. Naked lady. This is, that's the trailer. It's like, whatever. We could do the, this is the, which one is this? The release. The teaser trailer or something. And this shows a bunch of great stuff. I never saw any of the, um, like this stuff with the animation. Never saw any of that. I don't know if there actually is any of that in the game. But this top-down view is what it, is what the game actually is. And uh, I, I don't know. I don't know, man. Like I said, it's, and they're showing all the best parts. Right, that's the other thing. They're showing the... Who knows? Who knows? Uh, but yeah, don't recommend. Maybe if you... <sighs> For me, this is like a game that makes you waste your time. You know, kind of like in the old school where... <sighs> old school... CRPGs, right, where you had to create a build for your party, and if your build was wrong, eventually you'd hit a wall somewhere through the game and basically have to restart the whole game. You'd waste all your effort, and that's how this game feels. Uh, and I don't, I don't like it, especially as someone that doesn't have a lot of time. I, I don't like the random trial and error stuff. Uh, especially when there's limited resources and maybe you're doing it right, maybe you're not, maybe you're wasting your time, maybe you're not. Because, you know, the time that you have, you, you don't have a lot of it. Time is constantly ticking away. There's not really a penalty for death, uh, with the exception of it wastes your time, right? It actually makes it, it advances time. So if you die during the night, it advances it to the next morning. But dying during the night means you don't get, sometimes you get extra resources and stuff. And you lose all of that. You just, you just lose. Uh, additionally, you know, I had freaking poisonous whatever grow inside my little, my house, my little safe zone. And um, I think I was out of gas grenades or something and... I don't know. I, I, I think you can actually take your gas can and pour it out on the floor and light it to get rid of that stuff, but you're going to take damage while you're doing that. You know, and that's assuming it covers the right area that you need to cover. It's just, it's a freaking mess. It just feels like a mess. And if you're fine with wasting your time, see this. See this right here. I got here. I never got into this area. That's the third area of chapter one, I think, but it becomes... <sighs> Yeah, it's just, you know, I played it for eight hours. I lost, I ended up basically restarting it like three or four times. I'd play for a couple hours, screw things up, restart. Um, I freaking, I got stuck at one point because there was a note on the ground and everything is gray. Everything's kind of this uh, monochrome color. And there was a note on the ground that I couldn't see. <clears throat> excuse me, or didn't see. And I was like, where am I supposed to go? And I'm running around trying to find stuff. And then finally, I couldn't even really find a walkthrough, which was frustrating. But but eventually I was like, oh, there was supposed to be a freaking um, a note. And I somehow missed that. And oh, there's this poisonous stuff and you're actually supposed to clear that. And, and it's just... <clears throat> You have limited resources. You don't really want to experiment, but you basically, you basically have to, and that sacrifices your, your game potentially. You're like, well, if this doesn't work, it's going to end my game. Oh, well, I just wasted that. Now I'm toast or whatever. So it's, there's, a, I could, I could keep going. I, I haven't played it in months, um, and I, I don't know. I don't know if I ever will again. And um, I actually get 
it's kind of like the game in other waters where where i'm passionate about the game because it does so many things right but it also does so many things wrong that i feel like maybe they should have done better but then again like i said maybe that's their maybe that's their intent but to me it doesn't it's like oh we want to make a horror game that where you're constantly being told to go faster and you know it's really tense until it's not tense anymore that's how it feels like i played amnesia the dark descent and everybody so many people were like oh it's the greatest game ever and then i played it and i i kind of hate it um i don't hate because i don't feel strongly i don't have a lot of passion about it but i i don't like it uh <clears throat> amnesia is one of those games that you can't really fight the monster you just have to run and so they're always you know there's that fine line between tension and frustration and you know eventually they just muck it up and that's kind of how this is too it's like it starts off tense and there's some some spooky things and it. it just feels really try hard you know and then eventually you're like okay come on where's where am I supposed to go now? What am I supposed to do? Let me go back there. Did I miss something? Oh, I'm dead again. You know. Freaking, you're supposed to somehow defend yourself at night when you're missing half the walls in your house. And, you know, they swarm in and they kill you. And you're like, well, oh, okay. Oh, but, oh, but we're not going to hold your hand because we're, we're tough. It's like, F you guys. Um, yeah, I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully this was good. It's kind of disjointed because I haven't, um, played in a couple of months and, but I felt like, you know, Hey, this is something I played and, and people could see this and be like, Oh my God. Oh, 94% of the reviews are positive. That's why I got it. Right. I got it. Cause I'm like, Oh, there's, all these positive reviews and then i played it and i'm like nah nah and then you look and it's like only a percent of people have beaten the second chapter how are there so many positive reviews again that's that's kind of how i feel so um anyway guys that's it for today thank you guys so much for your time and attention hopefully you guys enjoyed the video hopefully it wasn't too long it's definitely disorganized um, but yeah, it's, this game makes me want to kind of foam at the mouth a little bit. Um, questions, comments, concerns, good, bad, and different. Let me hear them. I do try and read all of them. I do try and respond to all of them. And I hope to see you guys next time. Till then, guys, take care.